You see how when people move to the UK as dependents, their main aim is to look for jobs. They start sending hundreds of applications to look for care jobs and jobs in other sectors. Like that's their main aim. This lady's story is different. She moved to the UK as a dependent and she decided no, she's gonna work for herself. She decided she's gonna be her boss chick. She's an entrepreneur, she works for herself. She has several businesses and she does many other things as well. Is it worth it to start your own job as a dependent when you are new in the country? Let's hear from her and hear her experiences. <laughs> so hi, um, Ade's wife, Ade Lique's mommy, and Senosha makeup artistry, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Yeah. How do I call you? Sinosha. I, you or... can call me Sinosha, you can call me Heidi, you can call me whatever. I call you he Heidi? Yes. Okay. My real name is Idayat and right from time, a lot of people can take the first two letters of my name and be like ID, ID. ID, but okay. A lot of people call me Sinosha. Yes. Okay, Sinosha right. or ID. Okay. Yeah. So please introduce yourself, your name and where, where are you from? How long have you been in the UK and who are you? Yeah. Yeah. My name is Idayat Adeboye. I've been in the UK for a year and um, I think a month now. And um, it's been quite challenging, but so far so good. The longer I stay in the system, <laughs> the better I settle in and it's been all good. Um, I've been in business for seven years now and business is all I've known all my life. Like right from Nigeria, I after school, even while I was a student in the university, I had my own shop then. Wow. And I was always shopping from class to my shop, from my wow. shop to class. Wow. And even in school, a lot of my friends call me by my business name, Sino Shop, because I'm, I'm a makeup artist, I, I'm, I'm into skincare, and um, I sell hair. And a lot of people know me by what I do right from my school days. and. I've come a long way to build my brand. But the thing is, even after my school, after my service year, I never for once apply for job anyway. Because you were making money, right? Yes. And I feel I function better when I work <laughs> for myself. Yes. Life happens. My husband is a nurse and he have to be in the UK. And relocation took a toll on me. Like I. I was literally very confused and I was falling into depression because wow. this was me in Nigeria. Like I feel I'm very much comfortable and I have I can build the brand to a point that I feel yes, I'm okay already and this is me. I have to like relocate and start afresh. At the point I was makeup is among all I do, makeup is something I'm very, very passionate about. Even in school, then when they were giving me pocket money, I spent 90% on makeup products. And the remaining 10%, I tried to manage it. I call my mom, I have to buy manual, I have to buy this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because. So, I are was, you doing the makeup for people in school as well? Yes, I've been a makeup artist from school since 2016. Wow. I've been, I've been, even before 2016, I've had interest in makeup since 2013 and I've been doing it. And like my friend going and I call him do your makeup for you. It has been like that. But I went into it fully 2016, 2015 ending to 2016. That was when I went into it fully. And um, it has been like that. It's something I am really, really passionate about. When I came here, I was in between how do I cope? We have a lot of white people here. My makeup most time is on black, black skin. People. How do I navigate around? My products are in Nigeria. Then I was here, I was making money in Nera because I didn't close down my shop in Nigeria. My sister was in charge. I was making money in Nera, converting to pants, and I was more frustrated. <laughs> yes, because... <laughs> it becomes very small. Yes, because I'm making the money in Nigeria and I'm spending it here in the UK. And I just feel like, no, I have to start making money. I have to start thinking of what to do. It works for me because I have something going on back home. back home and business is all I've known. What I would say to people is if you have something you are doing already, moving to another country doesn't stop you. I think that's a good point. If you have, like, if you know why you started and you know what you're passionate about and you know your skills, just try to be at the top of your game. Then I'm, it, was, it feels like impossible for me to continue with everything I was doing back home. And that was why it took me so much time to like settle in to come here. 
But after a while, I think one day I wanted to buy something on eBay. Then I decided, I decided to just let me check this, let me check this. Then I saw a lot of products, like things I sell. I'm like, oh, 500 pieces sold. Ah, ah, this product, I'm very sure mine will work more than this. <laughs> yes, yes, that was it. Like, I, I called my sister, like, you cannot believe so 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 products. So they have sold 200 pieces. So 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 products. So they have sold these pieces. So this is happening here. So I started bringing in my things, like in cartons. And wow. The, the, the um, running business, I want people to understand, is just like having a newborn baby. You have to nurture that business. And moving here, I don't expect it to just start boom, boom the way it was for me in Nigeria. Yeah. People have to get comfortable with the brand. People have to get to know it. That's it. And the product will speak for itself. For and itself. it just takes one person, one potential person gives you hundreds of customers. That's it. That's so it. that was how I started. That's it. It was low in the beginning, but when it peaked, when people started using it, when they buy their first set and they start using it and it, they drop in reviews and every day, like on the average now, I get like 10 orders in wow. a day. And wow. It's really, really like. I was about me. to ask that how many. So you sell yeah. on Etsy. I sell on and Etsy. Then you sell on, um, eBay. eBay, yes. Okay, and then you have your Instagram as well. I have my Instagram okay. and I, um, for the makeup and the hair, I, I, I just I started off with hair when I was here to like figure out how to, how to bring my makeup things from Nigeria, how to bring products. So I was putting hair, I braided for people. I, I was putting it. I think that's where I saw you as well. Yes, I, I saw putting, somebody's hair you had done. It was so nice. Yes. That's why I decided to come and do my hair with you as well. Yes. For people that also want to start maybe selling things online here right but like you the products are in nigeria and yes. um, is the delivery not too expensive it is and it is frustrating at times because one thing about business is you just have to be you just have to have a very tough skin and make preparation for the um, unforeseen you prepare for your loss and you prepare for your gain and find a balance mm. something happened to me a couple of weeks ago my goods was seized by um, customs okay and that is the loss on my part wow but I'm just so thankful it's not one of those heavy shipments that do come in and why it was seized was that I think I I had fish fish okay in the package and maybe they said the amount of the fish was not it's too much for um, someone's cost so they felt I want to like sell it which is not ah, actually the case I don't okay. want to sell okay. I just wanted to give to friends and okay. loved ones okay. during the Ramadan ah, period. Yeah. I see. So that happened that way. At the end of the day, I'm happy and I'm profitable. Guys, we'll leave Sino Share's details in the description so you can see and then you can contact her if you're interested in any of these as well. So maybe you are in the UK as well or you are in any part of the world, really. And then you also want to start your own business, but you're clueless and you have no idea how to go about it. I recommend a platform called Skillshare for UK. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. On Skillshare, there's a class yeah, for- Yeah, I use it. You use Skillshare? Yeah, oh, wow. There's a class on Skillshare for anything that you want to learn. So let's say for you, you want to learn how to sell things on Etsy. There's a class on it for you. For me, I usually learn things about YouTube, you know. Yeah, um, the last class I took was about MKBHD's class on YouTube success, okay. Um, where she, he took us through scripting to, and filming blah 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 but if you're an entrepreneur and then you want to learn how to start um, a business there are several classes on Skillshare that you can get to help you okay become a boss chick like Sinosha and the amazing thing is they are sponsoring today's video so the first 1,000 people to hit the link in the description will get one month free access of Skillshare and I'm sure you'd love it okay whatever it is cooking photography thumbnail designing YouTube whatever it is there's a class on Skillshare for you and I'm, I'm happy to hear that you use it as well yeah I yeah. use it for my photography makeup um, how to edit my makeup picture and everything and wow wow and that's really nice be honest with me you know how much care assistants make in the uk right yeah. um they make maybe thousand five without overtime they make around thousand five thousand seven um, in, in a month. month you working from home aside the fact that you have time to take care of your baby every time your baby is with you you don't have to spend money on uh, nannies and whatever your baby is safe with you yes. your husband has you in the house at any time you have you have flexible you can go anywhere at any time aside all those positive things let's talk about how much at the end of the day when you deduct all your costs 
the amount she make, do you think it would have been worth it, you know, doing care job or doing any other job? Let me say, I, I can say I have first hand information when it comes to this because at the point my sister-in-law came around and I felt like, okay, I can trust her with my child. Like, I took a um, care job and I, I, was, I was working for around two months. Um, what I make in my business is more than, is two times more than. Guys, did you hear that? What, what she was making with her business is the yes. selling of hair, scaling of products online, the yeah, makeup, like, yeah. everything was twice what she made from care job. Yeah. Wow. So I just decided, okay, if I can pay more attention to my business, it will even do better. better. Yes. And now I'm just at the point of like trying to like navigate through how to get more visibility about my business and how to like make more. Because I'm at this, at this point, um, I have time for my family. I'm there for my daughter. I don't have to like take her to somewhere where I don't know their beliefs. I don't know how they mm, train. Important, I don't know what important. my daughter. And at this it's point learning. of their life, what they learn so fast. Yeah. And once 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 they learn one thing, it takes you a lot of effort to take that just thing away. away. Yeah. So I just want to be sure of the information my daughter is getting in, yeah. and she's getting the right thing from me. So I, I prefer to be the run, one to take care. Run business and stay at home with my daughter. Wow. Yes. Wow. So guys, if you also have like something that you know how to do and you're also contemplating for her, she was very fortunate because she's on a dependent visa and she's not tied to any employer. Okay. But even those who are the main visa holders, um, you can try something as well. But make sure that you've spoken to an immigration advisor to let you know all your options and all what she can do, okay? Especially with taxes and all that. Um, but for her, she's very fortunate because she has no limits whatsoever and she's explored all she can. And I know that as time goes on, it's going to even get bigger, yes, honestly. Yes. And I'm hoping I'm that this video that. will even boost it further, okay? Yeah. Like I said, after the last video, I had 100, 100 sales in one day. So okay. as being in Northern Ireland where there are not so many black people, is the makeup business doing well? I ask myself. Because I'm sure there are people who'd want to move to the to Northern Ireland. But I always tell them that like if you want to start a business, I think landing in the other parts of England are better because you're not likely to get a lot of uh, you know um, African clients or immigrant uh, immigrant clients in Northern Ireland. So if you really want a good start, start from there. What do you think? At the point, yes, I for especially for the makeup, that is something I'm really, really passionate about. I was considering moving to Birmingham. Okay. I in fact I went there. Ah. For for um, my friend was having um, had a baby and I used the opportunity like okay let me just go. Um, my baby was a few months old then like let's just go let me see what it feels like. But at that point I was just considering like having to relocate again settling in. I I don't just like the the, the whole feel, movement the feeling that comes with relocation. I like I was still trying to like settle in here already and. The thing just kept saying to me, like, don't limit yourself to, uh, there are not a lot of blacks. They are a lot of blacks. And why do I think, even if in Nigeria, like, people want to do makeup and they take their makeup artists from anywhere, when you are at the top of your skills and people know the value you render, your location doesn't matter. That's a good one. And even here in Belfast, even here in Northern Ireland, it's not bad as I was thinking. I think that's a good one. I like the way you think. You're yeah. very, very positive. That's good. Your final yeah. words um, for anyone who wants to start their own business in the UK as, a, as an immigrant. Yeah, I just want like, don't, the only limitation is yourself. Like, don't, don't feel because you are in the UK, it's like, it's impossible. It's like, there's nothing impossible. And the moment you have this, self-esteem that yes you can do it you will do it and you find yourself happier than you could ever imagine hey. so that is future than god hey <laughs> hey wow yes. wow wow yes, okay that's... guys so thank you so much for you know and coming on this channel and thank sharing you. your story yeah. i'm sure you inspire lots of people thank, thank you. you so much <laughs> thank okay. you bye, bye.